morning, everybody. Welcome to the Tim and Troy show. Hopefully you guys are all getting in the room. Super excited and uh, really happy to have you all with us tonight. So I know that a lot of you are from all over the United States and some of us have really cold weather and some of us have nice balmy weather. weather. So tonight's talk is all about how to grow the perfect garden outdoors aeroponically. So I, I just wanted to let you know that you know the U.S. in our peak season, uh, you might want to mute yourselves as you walk in. That'd be great. Um, I just want to let you know that Tower Gardeners and future Tower Gardeners, I'd like to introduce you to two amazing experts in the field of urban gardening. It's been a while since we've been on the Tim and Troy show. So I just want to say, first of all, we have also... Um, Mr. Troy Albright. Troy is a pharmacist by degree and profession, having an authentic passion for seeing people well and healthy from the inside out. Troy founded True Garden, Arizona's first vert vertical aeroponic farm, which has now become a top trending farm garden center in the U.S. Troy and his team empower thousands of people every year by giving them tools to grow all their own fruits and vegetables, which is really awesome in the comfort right in their own home. Tim Blank is one of the world's leading hydroponic experts and he co-founded our wonderful Tower Garden Company in 2006. Tim has a degree in horticulture science, served as a top horticulturist for the Walt Disney World Company for 12 years, managing the hydroponic greenhouses at Disney's Epcot Center. So today, Tim serves as the chief technology officer for the True Gar for the Tower Garden Company in the Juice Plus Company, and is going to share his um, lots of great tips today for growing our gardens outdoors, no matter what. <laughs> and I know that Troy here is Troy in Arizona, where we have beautiful balmy weather in the outside in the afternoon, but in the morning we have icy cold weather. And then Troy uh, Tim is in Florida right now, and I don't know what his weather's like there, but you tower gardeners that are underneath snow right now, don't go away because we're going to talk to you about the indoor garden also. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we are also broadcasting live on the YouTube channel. And I just wanted to just introduce these wonderful men. And so we're going to get started right now. And so take it away. Well, thank you, Alita. Hi, welcome, everybody. Uh, I know we have probably almost a thousand people joining us tonight on these different platforms and Facebook groups and all that kind of stuff. So welcome everybody and uh, so excited to uh, uh, have you here tonight. Tonight our, our focus is uh, we always, uh, you know, listen to your questions and what you're interested in. And it's been a really cold, uh, wet, stormy, snowy winter across the U.S. But um, a, lot of, a lot of us live in the perfect growing environment, Orlando, Florida, Miami, Florida. We just did a bunch of talks throughout Florida with uh, some wonderful tower gardeners over in Merritt Island and Jacksonville and South Florida and the villages and Orlando and uh, welcome all of you. I know many of you are on tonight as well. Very excited to see you. But a lot of people who live up north don't realize that, you know, uh, winter is our spring in Orlando and Phoenix and uh, coastal Southern California and Texas and uh, Louisiana. And so tonight I'm going to just uh, talk to you about uh, uh, how to grow the perfect tower garden that that it is spring for us. And um, and uh, sometimes in the summer, the plants, especially where Troy and Elita are at in, in Phoenix in the summer, plants can be stressed. But then now it's just such a beautiful time, to, you know, just about every single thing you put in that tower garden grows. There's three reasons that people are really passionate about gardening. And I'm gonna to also touch quickly on those tonight too. It's one of them is our health. We're all into really keeping our bodies healthy during the pandemic. And this has been a brutal winter for the upper respiratory, the flu and COVID. There's been like the triple whammy. And so keeping our health fine-tuned, it was so important to many of us on that call, consuming clean, healthy, whole food nutrition, that's big. Food inflation, it's skyrocketing. It's outpacing the current rate of inflation. And then food security, people just want to really be able to be in control of their food supply. So I'm gonna share my little screen here and jump to my presentation. And uh, 
we'll get that going. So take a look at some of these regions, see if you follow my mouse, just basically all the way through all these areas, the growing conditions are wonderful, all the Southern US. And by the way, if you're on this call and you're living up North, don't feel disappointed because just in a few months you'll be growing outdoors. And I'm also gonna show you a little tip for growing indoors as well. But uh, so let's go ahead and get started here on this. So uh, as I mentioned, people are, are really, uh, urban gardening is at an all time high right now, but um, uh, you know, a lot of people just simply don't have that space to garden. So we're all about making it fun and simple with tower gardening. Um, you know, in traditional gardening requires a lot of bending, weeding, tilling, and you got to have a big space. And this is kind of, this is right here in Florida. Um, this is where a lot of us live and we just don't have that backyard space. So the tower garden only requires a 30 inch footprint and we're growing all of our food vertically. So I remember I said, people are doing it for their health. So my wife, Jessica and I do a smoothie or juicing every single day and we do a salad every day. So that's a big, big deal. That's how we impact our health. As I mentioned, food inflation is outpacing the current rate of inflation. And uh, so people want to save money. And, uh, and I always say, you know, uh, my good friend Ron Finley says, growing your own food is like printing your own money. And I absolutely love this slide because it's the the tower garden is truly the gift. I know I, I think there was several thousand tower gardens gifted at Christmas time this year, and as well as donated to nonprofits. And uh, and what I love about that is uh, um, you know that's just the a lot of people get their Christmas gift and they wear it a few times or whatever, and it kind of fades away. And the gift of tower gardening goes on for decades actually. So food security, a really big thing. Why is this important uh, to people right now? Well, we saw in the, the pandemic, the food shortage, there's still shortages of food, the Ukraine war, all these types of things. So people are really into, they're really aware of what's going on in the world, understanding that in the blink of an eye, our food supply can be cut. And then we don't even know where our food's coming from. It's being shipped all from all over the world. Right now, with all the flooding in California, where a lot of your produce comes from, it's being destroyed uh, with this just uh, in my lifetime, we've never had anything like this out West continuously. So when you go to the grocery store, start paying attention about where your food's coming from and grow yourself because it's being supplemented, being flown in from all over the world right now because of what we're, because of the, uh, the flooding that we're dealing with. So we have two main products to help you garden, Tower Garden Flex and Tower Garden Home. Flex is for outdoor, homes for indoor. Tonight, we are gonna talk about Tower Garden Flex because that's our outdoor unit mainly. And uh, for those of you that don't know anything about aeroponic gardening or this type of gardening, let me just highlight how powerful it is. It's, we don't require all that bending, weeding, tilling, and we can garden like this using up to 98% less water, a 90% less land and absolutely no harmful chemicals. And that's super cool for those of us who are focused on our health. And many of these varieties grow extremely fast in the tower garden. Now, our product is plug and play. It shows up at your doorstep with everything you need to grow, your seeds, your little starter cubes, your uh, uh, powerful minerals that help your plants grow extraordinarily fast. All you need is 30 inches of space, some beautiful sunlight, and some fresh water. I think everybody's got a, a tap or a little hose, right? And just a small amount of electricity. Plug that tower into the wall, and you're off and running. That's all that we required. So you don't have to run to the store and look for seeds and look for fertilizer. Everything shows up at your doorstep. So wanna talk about one of the most powerful things that shows up at your doorstep with your tower. Uh, many years ago, we developed the world's first one size fits all uh, uh, aeroponic slash hydroponic uh, uh, tower garden mineral blend. So these are concentrated nutrients that grow everything from a beautiful head of lettuce and to parsley and kale, like you see on your left, 
to beautiful strawberries you see on your right, as well as all the other fruiting crops like tomatoes. You go to a traditional hydroponic store, it's complicated, confusing, and there's a juice or fertilizer for almost every grouping of crops. And so we eliminate all that. We don't want you to be reading books and watching videos and having to spend hours to do a complicated hobby. We dial it in to be fun and simple. Everything shows up at your doorstep. The fertilizer, as you follow the directions, you add exactly what they say and your tower is off and growing. And I mean, these towers behind us are, you know, uh, some of these are planted by children. And I know there's Troy, his volunteers read, you know, that pop those little seedlings in there on his screen. I love that, Troy. Now, what we do is we take just a small amount of those concentrated minerals, you pour them inside 20 gallons of fresh water at the bottom. And for those of you that have ordered your tower that are new to this, there's a little submersible pump that sits inside the base there and it's plugged into a smart timer that comes with the tower. So just a few times an hour, that pump turns on, pumps up the center and rains down uh, on the roots of those plants. And it's providing them with maximum amounts of oxygen, nutrients, uh, aeration, everything. It's just perfect. Everything the plant needs to grow quickly and beautifully. That's why we love aeroponics. We don't have to fill this tower with dirt. We don't fill it with peat moss. We don't fill it with perlite. We don't fill it with those hydroponic clay pellets you see. Nothing. It's aeroponics. So the chamber is empty and it gives plenty of space for those roots to grow. So we have many people that grow in the tower for an entire year. Uh, without running out of space for the roots. So I absolutely love that quality about aeroponic growing. Now, we have five little add-on products that make this Tower Garden Flex Outdoors real fun. So we have a little extension kit that lets you grow just one extension kit, lets you grow taller, 30% more food in the same 30-inch footprint. We know we're in our backyard, you know, as high as you can reach, we could probably grow sometimes, right? We have another product is this little baby greens extension kit. So people who love growing the little herbs or little delicate baby greens, that is perfect for you. Um, this little plant cage, a lot of our uh, tower gardeners love this because this allows us to grow um, beautiful fruiting crops like Chef John Mooney there is growing that wonderful okra or some cantaloupe. Now you're not gonna plant 20 or 28 plants in here, just about six or eight plants is all you need. I love, I, I know how many people love fresh tomatoes, raise your hand. I know there's several hundred people out there tonight that I know this is their favorite. And I'm gonna tell you the vine ripe tomatoes off the tower garden, oh my gosh, they are absolutely wonderful. I am a, I don't know how many people, they're fans of hot peppers. These are uh, my favorite, those grow wonderfully too. And that plant cage supports them beautifully. This is a great example of plants that are probably around one year old and you can just keep harvesting and harvesting. And, you know, that's what the tower garden is all about. It's a gift that keeps on giving with some of these varieties of crops. Wheels, a lot of people love, you know, let's say they got a barbecue in the shade and they have the sunny spot out on their patio. They love rolling the tower garden right over to their barbecue to start clipping their plants. Um, a lot of our partners out there who promote tower garden will roll the tower gardens to events and things like that. So the wheels make it a lot of fun. And we have one more really cool product. Remember I said that for those of you that are tuning in tonight, I know we have some Northerners and even some Canadians on the call and some Europeans. And I know that you know, you're, there's people that aren't growing in the Southern US where it's challenging. Um, uh, we do have some beautiful grow lights for you. And you can see those at towergarden.com as well. And you can take the same great growing system, put those grow lights on and get cranking indoors. And um, uh, my children love this. You know, I, I think of, you know, there's a lot of people tonight that struggle with getting their kids to eat healthy. They might be, you know, turn a new leaves, start a new year's resolution, but try to get your kids to do that. Well, you will find that the tower garden is like the iPhone of gardening. So when your kids, you know, they don't like getting dirty and doing that bending, weeding, tilling, but this is very rewarding, very instant gratification, so to speak. And so for those of you that are growing indoors, I'll just show, I know Troy's gonna show you this in a little bit, but uh, there's also the smaller product. So Tower Garden Home, if you don't wanna bring that flex in to grow in a winter climate, it is 
a little bit smaller, so it can replace a chair and table indoors. And it's got its, uh, you tuck it right into a corner and it's got its wheels built in. So it, it does pack 32 plant sites. I love that. And so again, you can just tuck that in the corner of your kitchen, tower to table, 10 foot steps or less. So I love that. And by the way, I know there's a lot of us in Orlando and Phoenix and Los Angeles that, you know, we're living in apartments or condos. So this would also be perfect for you. So some of the tips I'm gonna to share tonight are, are also very pertinent when you grow indoors. So if you're a first time gardener, some of those that are new to this call, I want you to keep it fun and simple. I wanna show you how to grow a tower garden with a, a purpose or a mission. So one of those purposes we talked about earlier was your health, health and wellness. When we can grow clean, pesticide free food, that's really a big deal. So many, you, so many people don't realize their allergies and skin problems are caused by the chemicals they're getting in their food. So getting clean food's a big deal. So salads and uh, salad towers and juicing and kale and parsley. Um, you know, I love all of these things because when we go to even, this is a recent trip to Whole Foods, you know, their plants don't have color, they don't have smell, they're, they're wilted, they don't look that good. So my wife, Jessica and I, you know, doing a salad tower every, you know, to walk outside the door, pick a beautiful fresh salad that smells amazing. You know, and think about this, how many people have bought lettuce and it, and it gets bad and you have to throw so much of it away or you're juicing things. So on a tower garden, we don't cut it all. We just cut it as we need it. So if, you know, 10 minutes before you eat it, you toss it in your mouth, the plant doesn't know it's dead yet, right? So it's super nutritious and and living beautifully. A lot of people are into that juicing or the herbs and the cooking tower. So that's kind of how I love to theme my towers and those three ways. The bottom line is grow what you love. You're gonna get results. So top three tips for those of you growing outdoors right now. Um, follow the pyramid planting. Um, and what do I mean by that? Well, the tower garden is a vertical condominium, right? So we've got a 30 inch footprint but we do not want to plant tomatoes and squash at the top because that is going to shade out the rest of the tower. So here you see, we kind of got the smaller plants at the top, the medium plants in the middle and all these larger fruiting plants at the bottom. So on this one, we have that tower actually was done and uh, grown in, uh, in October um, in or near Orlando, Florida in just 24 days from transplant. So you can see, how amazing and quickly the tower garden grows with some beautiful summer squash there. And again, here's another great example. We got some strawberries and lettuce at the top, some beans in the middle and bigger squash at the bottom. That's a, a, a purple cabbage tower used for juicing and that watermelon runs 15 feet out from the tower at the bottom. So when you have room, a tower garden can actually be an entire a whole other garden out on the ground. You can have pumpkins running, uh, watermelon running, uh, uh, cucumbers. Um, we have people that'll grow cucumbers up a trellis on the north side of the tower. I mean, I mean, one tower can really cover a lot of area for our more advanced tower gardeners. So follow that pyramid planting so the sun gets into the whole tower. The next uh, one I would tell you, several. we have several people out there I know that have two, three, four towers. So I love, you don't have to do it this way, but I love theming my towers. What do I mean by that? Well, if I'm gonna grow some uh, fruiting crops. I might grow tomatoes and peppers on a tower and, and kind of keep them in an area because they kind of require the same type of care, right? And then, uh, there, oh, I love some tomatillas there. Love, 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 love those. Um, uh, I love my, say my salad tower and my juicing tower. So uh, that's my uh, things that I use in my smoothies, the kale, the chard, the parsley, by the way, at the top three juicing things out there, you can grow in the tower. Now, I know there's other urban gardening companies that do uh, more simple, uh, not as efficient forms of hydroponics and they, you know, focus on salads and you got to transplant every four, buy these expensive seedlings and transplant every four weeks. We don't want to do that. We actually, uh, uh, kale, chard, and parsley, you can cut off of these for six to nine months before you have to replace your tower. Some people even do it a year, but I find that highly productive zone is around that half a year mark. And once they get established, you're literally cutting off these every single week. So 
why I love theming it this way, because I can tell my kids, hey, girls, run out and, and go cut off the juicing tower, and they don't accidentally cut a tomato vine or something like that. So love theming the towers. Um, harvest efficiently. So a lot of people live very busy lives. So what do I mean by this? So, you know, you can go to your tower and cut one leaf at a time, but let's say you're you're juicing for a family of six or you're making a salad for a family of six. You can literally go out and you see that beautiful lettuce behind Troy there on the screen. You can just grab it with your hand. And then I'll show you this next slide here. If you look down in the center, there is a little, what we call an all your lettuces, kales, parsley, all these type of plants at the center about within the first one to two inches have a, that's where all the little babies come out. Then as they grow, they bend out. So what we can do is just literally grab the plants and take a scissors or a knife and just cut them off at the top. And then on an established tower within one to two weeks, that plant, you didn't damage any of the new growth and they completely, those little babies just completely grow quickly back out. And maybe even Troy can, show you how to do one here in a minute. But most importantly, find a good buddy. If someone invited you tonight and they're a good tower gardener, you know, learn some tips and tricks from them as well. So I wanna, before I turn it over to Troy, I wanna wrap it up real quickly with the few things that I uh, get asked quite frequently. So um, uh, one of them is, I love that look at that tower garden home. Uh, it's a little bit more modern look. I have a more modern home or I have a tiny balcony in my apartment. I don't have a lot of space. Can I buy the tower garden home without grow lights and grow it outdoors? And the answer is absolutely uh, yes. The lights don't go outdoors, but the home can. It's made with the identical plastic as the tower garden flex and it takes up less space and it has a different look to it. So sure, you can absolutely do that. Um, I often get asked for Tim, I've listened to, I've watched several of your videos and, and I've learned, is there any video where it's kind of all compiled into one for your best horticultural tips for growing outdoors, for growing indoors, uh, paying attention to pH and organic pest control? Absolutely. Tower Garden 101. Do a screenshot of this, take a picture. I think later um, Hal or Troy will tell you. Uh, where you can, um, I think I, I think Hal even created a folder in tonight's talk where you can go and grab these links directly. But again, screenshot this, take a picture. Tower Garden 101, we did this recently. And I'm telling you, this is something, even if you're an old time gardener, it, it just reminds us of where to put our tower. Uh, 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 growing tips, um, how many tomatoes to plant on a tower, uh, what do I do if I see a bug? Should I be worried about it? Stuff like that. Also at towergrown.com, we have a great organic pest control blog because I know there are many of you out here tonight that that um, you know won't touch any kind of chemical, the 10-foot pole. So how to how to um, deal with pests in the few instances those uh, you know we might have them. That's a great uh, tip there. Now the next one is quality. You know we we live in an, uh, at a time when people are with this inflation nonsense, people are really focused on that every penny. And Tim, this is an investment. If I get it, how long is it gonna last? Well, the tower garden, I can tell you, one of the main things that we focused on when we developed the tower garden was building a garden for life. This garden was built for lifetime use. It's strong, it's tough and, uh, you know, I can't tell you the number of times people tell me I went to Ace Hardware, Home Depot, Lowe's, I bought a pot, spent a couple hundred dollars on all the soil and fertilizer and all these things. And two years later, my pot's faded, it's cracked and doesn't work anymore. And that's not what Tower Garden is. This Tower Garden with the peppers that I showed you earlier is 10 years old. And I have some that are 16, 17 years old now. So um, how long does the Tower Garden take to pay for itself? We asked that question years ago before food was real expensive. And one of our uh, tower farmers planted a bunch of seedlings in it and he was able to determine that he could pay for the tower garden within six months. So that might not be for the beginning gardener. It might take you a year, a little bit longer, but once the tower garden is paid for itself, growing your own food is like printing your own money. It's just a gift that keeps on giving. So I love sharing that because it's almost a mute point to be able to be in control of your food supply, feed your family fresh, clean, 
healthy food every single day. Now, and food security is so important to all of us, and I, I can't emphasize that enough. Now, for those of you, again, that are new, someone invited you and you want to learn how to do this, don't feel afraid. Partner with success. Find that sunny spot outdoors that's got that 30-inch footprint or that perfect spot indoors, and remember about that Tower Garden 101. It'll show you all the tips, tricks, and techniques to grow, and I am now going to turn it over to Mr. Troy Albright, he is one of our top tower farmers in the world, uh, across the country over in Phoenix, Arizona. And I know he has a greenhouse with three to 500 towers. It depends on the time of year, what he's growing. But he also has a little home center there. And um, Troy, why don't you just show us in real time what you've got growing on over there? Sounds great, Tim. Happy New Year, everybody. It's uh, great to start the new year with how to become more food sovereign. So let me turn my camera around here because I want to encourage all of you, even if you're um, having snow yet, you know, with our um, tower garden, we have these incredible LED lights. They're very efficient and that allows us to come indoors and grow towers and grow our food year round. So I take on the same thing that Tim's talking about, growing your tower for a purpose. So here we have a, uh, an herb tower and all different types of herbs with a little bit of lettuce mixed in. There's some red vein sorrel. You know, we got some beautiful garlic chives. You know, I love garlic and you know, rosemary there. You know, we got some thyme. You know, again, this tower serves as, a, as an herb tower. And you know, then like, like, like uh, you got to get a Whole Foods right there on one tower, Troy, their entire uh, herbs and lettuce section. <laughs> exactly. And what's incredible about the home tower, as you uh, touched on, it comes with this baby green section here where we get 16 little uh, herbs that we can start growing along with the, uh, the 16 regular plants. So we're excited to, to have this herb tower. And uh, along with that, we have more of our juicing tower. So again, we know the value of oregano. It's got lots of anti-inflammatory properties. You know, we love basil. We make a lot of pesto. Again, Swiss chard, as Tim's talking about, uh, one of the most uh, uh, antioxidants, one of the best antioxidants. So again, here we're taking the flex tower. We've added the extension onto it. So we have actually 28 grow spots. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see that this is the, the actual um, flex tower there. And again, we're trying to maximize this 30 inch square, 30 inch in diameter uh, foot, uh, footprint here, and we're growing a lot of food. And so, then our uh, final tower. Uh -huh. No, go ahead, that Troy. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I have a question after you show us your final tower. So again, here's more of our salad tower. You know, we're growing some strawberries. You know, again, I got some pak choy, lots of different varieties of lettuce, celery. Again, celery's got great uh, uh, properties as well. And then my kids, Tim, love bib lettuce. I mean, they go crazy over bib. I and mean, look at this beautiful bib lettuce here. I mean, you can grow this year round indoors in your tower gardens. And I remember uh, in Minnesota, that's where I'm from. I mean, they're so cold there that the ground is still frozen. So the farmers you know, are hoping that they, uh, that they can get their crops in here shortly. But this gives us the opportunity to grow indoors and we just started another tower here as well. Uh, just another herb tower with all the different types of herbs here that we can just cut and just put on the top of our salad. So Troy, we get excited are, about little things like Those this. are beautiful. And as you were showing me some, all of us some stuff tonight, I was thinking that, um, um, you know, as I mentioned earlier that the tower garden shows up your doorstep with all, a lot of the, the basic things like your lettuces and some basic herbs, things that are good for that beginner gardener who's never done it before. But as you were going through your towers, Troy, I saw a lot of cool things that you don't even see in the store. Like, I don't know the last time I saw red vein sorrel or the dandelion. I mean, these guys, these are superfoods. These are uh, bring a lot of amazing phyto rare phytonutrients, which are anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, anti-disease, good nutrition into your body. What I'm thinking, Troy, is like in something like rosemary and lavender, those take an incredibly long time from seed. Lettuce will germinate real quick, but geez, strawberry, lavender, rosemary. So one of the really cool things about the Tower Garden Company is that we have another division called 
tower farms and we have these amazing farmers like uh, uh, um, oh gosh, Altius Farms in Colorado and Living Towers in Florida and True Garden in Arizona and they grow all these gorgeous like uh, I think True Garden alone is a couple hundred varieties of herbs and tomatoes and peppers and things and so for those of you that want that instant gratification Troy can you tell them that service you offer because I know you all ship those seedlings and you know you don't have to just live in Phoenix or California you and you, that you actually ship those all over the country and do you ship to places where it's cold Troy if for somebody who would like just to buy their tower garden and get it going right now with all this cool stuff oh yes we ship to all the the, the United you know all parts of the United States here and what's nice is we wrap them in a little extra plastic and that typically gets them even into these cold climates. Uh, we're using FedEx uh, every now and then they still have a hiccup. And when that happens, we'll take care of you. We don't just lay, you know, cool. say that too bad. It's their, their issue. And, you know, there's seedling providers all over the United States. And our goal is to make sure that when we send you seedlings that you're satisfied and we try to go out of our way to, to get you beautiful seedlings that you can just plug and play and have instant gratification in 21 to 26 days. So, so we so get they just excited go to towergarden.com, click on seedlings, Troy? Yes. Okay, cool. So, uh, and Shane, uh, well, uh, True we'll Garden for us, True Garden, True Garden. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, <laughs> True Garden.com, click on the seedling tab, correct? That is correct. Okay, excellent. And, and um, we have Shane, uh, over 140, 140 varieties. Cool, so. cool. And Shane, Shane just mentioned in the chat there that. He gets all of his from johnnyseeds.com. And thank you, Shane, for uh, mentioning that because that's probably one of the one of the top seed companies. So for those of you that like a lot of those things that Troy's grow, growing there, I, I love Johnny's. There's a lot of heirloom companies, but what I love about Johnny's Seed is they actually test even their organic seeds for different viruses and diseases that a lot of other smaller seed companies they don't always do a good job at that and and or they don't do it at all especially some of those boutique heirloom companies so i do love that fact about johnny seeds is that you can get everything from a beautiful commercial hybrid bib lettuce to many of those exotic varieties that troy's growing so thank you shane for that tip and what a great reminder yeah by the way tim that's we use johnny seeds for 98 percent of our seeds and they're all certified organic and that's oh, what's nice. exciting Ooh, about it as okay. well. Okay. Well, that's, that's, so all, all of your seed varieties are, are from organic seed, Troy? Yes. Oh, excellent. They're all organic. Okay. Yep. Okay, uh, cool. Someone just asked you what those plants um, are behind you in the greenhouse. Those are violas, correct? Or no, not violas. Those yeah. Are, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're uh, um, a Johnny Jump Up. So there's a, a variety of different, um, and those are considered an edible flower, guys. So Johnny Seeds has a wide range of, both violas and or Johnny jump ups, and uh, um, you can definitely get them there. Now I'm going to turn it back over to Alita. I know we try to keep this at 30 minutes for those of you that um, are with your families uh, uh, this evening. So, um, Alita, would you like to wrap it up for us tonight? Sure. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We were like trying to find Troy. They were trying to find you, Tim. And so hopefully you got a lot out of this presentation. And really, when you find the rebroadcast. Give it to your friends and family and those people who are interested in looking to get something super special to plant inside their house or outside. And for those of you who were uh, a guest of somebody, get back to the person who introduced you and you will be able to find all the links underneath the True Garden YouTube channel. And also it's also in the Ju uh, Juice Plus Arizona page. So with that being said, I wanna wish you all a blessed evening. And thank you so much, Troy and Tim, for all your expertise. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Okay. God, God bless you all. Happy, happy New Year's, guys. And I wish you just an amazing, healthy 2023 and uh, uh, join our gardening community. We are not just a beautiful growing product, but we are a movement taking over the globe. Join us. We're happy to have you. All right. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Take care.